Although Americans are said to work the hardest in the world, there is still that looming philosophy of Americans that declares them to be naive, ignorant, and slightly unaware of their surroundings. So as you were saying, Betterman is an extremely slippery person. He seems to always be getting in the way of Angel's work and slipping around doing the wrong things. Angel, on the other hand, as his name suggests, does everything right and by the books. I think these names are intended, are going to help all of you out there when it comes to figuring out what this movie is really going to be about. I mean, we haven't even given away the best parts yet. Mm-hmm. And you know what? The first time I saw the trailer for this movie, I thought to myself, right, this is going to be another stupid movie with more stupid people. But actually, the film's plot is quite thought-provoking. It certainly was not predictable. I mean, I can tell you right now that I didn't expect half of the things to happen that did happen in that movie. A few of the images that made this film so worthwhile are located in the last 15 minutes of the film during the Bad Boys 2 scene. This fight scene is just so graphic and so intense that it would drive any teenage boy mad. This is a scene that justifies teenage boys calling this movie an action film, which gives the producers of this movie a wider audience. Pretty smart on their part. One of the things that we thought was ineffective in this film was the relatively small amount of comedy. We do agree, however, that the limited amount of comedy there was was highly comical and well worth it. Unfortunately, the only comedy that was recognizable in the film was between the two characters, Betterman and Angel, which was due to their polar opposite personalities. Overall, Hot Fuzz is a good display of comedy and humor. It portrays many aspects of comical characters to help them achieve a movie with complete satire and emotional reactions from the viewers. Well then, looks like we're out of time. It's too bad. I had so many other fascinating points to make. <laughs> However, as a film reviewer, I give this film two thumbs up for its comedy and hor humor. I give horror. this film two thumbs way up as well because I thought the uniqueness of the plot was interesting and the comedy added to the greatness of the movie. Over and out.